Hey, hello again. It's Eric, the Big E Arnold, and it's Saturday, Saturday morning, the 14th of August. Uh, we're in the secondary studio here today. Um, I don't know why we're here. I just, I think the wife's out doing yard work, so it's an added uh, noise issue there. So I figured, well, we'll just do uh, do it here. Um, well, hey, let's hear it. All good things gotta come to an end. Is that true? Well, I guess as far as gambling, it does. No one wins forever. So, winning streak broken at 14 yesterday. Yesterday was our first negative day in probably a week and a half. Um, hey, well, you know, let's hear it. 14 in a row. That's not bad. You know, I'm not going to apologize for that. Uh, the Reds, <laughs> the Reds, I bashed that team so much. I mean, I guess it was karma. It was due. Right, Sparky. Sparky says, you got what was coming to you, buddy. Uh, so the Reds, uh, they're the ones that broke the streak, hammering the Phillies there, uh, uh, six to one. Uh, you know, it's, even though we lost late yesterday, it still wasn't a terrible day. I mean, we missed on the Reds, but... Easy winner with the Cardinals, easy winner with the Rays, and then it could have gone either way, break or make, you know, that, uh, uh, make or break game there on the West Coast with the uh, Blue Jays at Seattle. Uh, that game could have gone either way. We got a guy thrown out at the plate in the top of the ninth inning, and then, you know, just uh, the Blue Jays' bullpen is not very good, and they uh, walked in the winning run. That, that's got, it's easy when you're riding a winning streak to kind of just be philosophical when you have a loss like that, but doesn't it infuriate you as a fan when you bring in a bullpen pitcher, especially one that's supposed to be pretty good, and the bases are loaded, he you got to throw strikes, you can't just walk a run in, and the guy just walks in. And in this case, on four pitches, Brad Hand, just one, two, three, loss. Uh, or I'm sorry, one, two, three, four, loss. <laughs> it was, it, and none of the pitches were that particularly close. You know, I, I, maybe that's a spot where I don't live bet. I just, I think there's some people that are very successful at that sort of thing. People are smarter than I am that have an instant ability to calculate odds, uh, knowing that, well, in this situation, when the count is two and two, the chances of this happening are X, and the bookie is offering me odds of Y, and there's a gap there, and if there's a gap there, I'm getting value. So, you know, then you just, you see the gap, you just bet it. You know, you bet it instantly. You know, you're always getting that value, and eventually the numbers work in your favor. I think one of those Jeopardy champions was uh, uh, did that. Um, I mean, it seems like that's the kind of guy that's smart enough to do anything. Um, but if you're live betting in a situation like that, I mean, that's not a numbers thing. That's just a gut thing. You know, as soon as that guy threw the first ball... I thought, I have not seen Brad Hand do one damn thing good all year long. And I need this guy not to walk in the winning run. And I thought, he's going to walk the winning run in. And it was a terrible hitter, too. That's, that's what It almost makes it like more likely he's going to walk the guy in. It just seems like this is so easy, man. Just don't fuck it up. This is just so easy. And then you know he's going to do it. And sure enough, so, eh, you know, I'm not complaining. I'm just telling you what happened. So let's see, uh, today, um, what do we have going on today? I, you know, I couldn't make heads or tails out of the card today. I have two picks for you. I'm just going to kind of look down, up and down the card here. You know, the, the, you know, these guys again against the Phillies. Um, the Reds, you know, it's Sparky Anderson and the Reds. I kind of want to play the Reds. You know, my gut tells me the Reds are better than the Phillies. 
Uh, the odds tell me the Reds are better than the Phillies, at least today. Um, you know, the Phillies had put on a nice little spurt there, but now they're, you know, playing tougher competition and they're reverting to who they are. Uh, so I just, uh, you know, Wheeler did not come out and do his thing last night. That's probably going to deflate the team a little bit. I just, you know, I just I don't trust either team, so we'll just leave that one alone. I like the Red Sox. You know, there's a team I think you need to start looking at. The Cavalry's coming. Um, pick a movie where the Cavalry comes and saves the day. Um, all right, I was thinking of a movie, but it's backwards. Uh, I been seeing clips, YouTube's throwing a lot of Gettysburg clips into my feed lately, I don't know why, but the first day of Gettysburg, the Cavalry, you know, uh, Sam Elliott uh, playing John Buford, the Cavalry General, he's holding the high ground, because there'll be devil to pay if the Confederates get up on the high ground, and men with, uh, fat men with watch fobs will thump their chest, you know, so... Buford, Sam Elliott, he's holding the high ground, uh, and he's overmatched, he's outnumbered, and he's about to get overrun, and then the Army shows up and saves the day. Uh, so the Army's showing up to save the day there in Boston. Uh, Schwarber is back. He played his first game last night. He looks like he's going to help them, to me. You know, the, 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 he was a good, effective player in Washington, uh, he was hitting for power. He had a he got on a stretch there. He carried the team for three weeks. Then he got hurt, and they got rid of him. Uh, and then Chris Sale, remember that guy? He's ready. He's pitching tonight, today. Um, just the price is just ooh, you know. But I think that if rising tide lifts all boats. Ronald Reagan said that. I'm pretty sure. Um, so rising tide lifts all boats. We'll look for the Red Sox in a non-sale game where the price is shorter. Price is just too expensive today. Uh, let's see. I I'd like to play against the Cubs, but I didn't like the way the Cubs scored runs yesterday. Like they they didn't give up. I didn't like that. So I think the Cubs might be not as God awful as they appear to be, maybe I don't know. Um, yeah, the, the, a lot of these prices are just, you know, you, you, the Padres they're they're way too expensive against you know right now Arizona looks like a live dog. Uh, they're getting some people back. They might not be as awful as they seem. Uh, the Rangers and Athletics, uh, another matchup where the price is just probably too high. You know, the, the Rangers look like they had a couple guys uh, that you don't know. That's, see, that's always one of those things where these dead weight, these teams are just completely dead. Um, when they start bringing up the prospects, then that makes them... A little unpredictable. They, they, I think they had some new guy named Pozo. <laughs> he hit a home run last night for the Rangers. They had some other new guy hit his first home run last night. That makes me nervous. That means, to me, the Rangers might be improving. And let's be careful about playing against them. So here's what we're going to do. Um, what are we doing? We're going to go against the Nationals. I think that... The Braves are going to win the East. To me, that feels like a pretty safe bet at this point. I think that's not an unusual take. I think everybody thinks that. And, and I, honestly, I think if you ask the Phillies, they'd say the exact same thing. I'm trying to think of the biggest Philly homer I know, and I don't... My brother, he doesn't think the Phillies are going to win the division. John Cruck doesn't think they're going to win the division. He hasn't said that, but I got a candid interview out of him. I'm sure he'd say that. So, yeah, I, the, the Braves are going to pass the Phillies. They're just better. Um, and the Mets are, 
you know, I just saw Jacob DeGrom is out for another two weeks. You know, he's a guy without you. He's not coming back. He's not coming back. It's, it's, when's Javi Baez coming back? When's Lindor coming back? It's going to be too late for the Red, uh, or Reds, uh, Mets. Mets. It's going to be too late for these guys. So the Braves right now, they're, I think, in the midst of the big move that's going to take them into the playoffs. The Nationals are dead. That, I think it's one thing to trade some guys, sell at the trade deadline, but then there's ways like the Nationals did it, the ways like the Cubs did it, where... I think you just kill a team for the rest of the year and then, and then possibly into next year the way they did it. I mean, from the Nationals, it, he, uh, we traded Schwarber. He was under 30 well, on an expiring contract. It's like, okay, all right, well, fine. You know, a rent a guy. Didn't work out this year. Makes me wonder, what'd you bring him in for it in the first place if uh, you were just going to move him at the deadline? You know, I guess some things didn't work out. Strasburg got hurt. Um, but then there's Trey Turner, a guy who has been a bedrock player for the Nationals franchise for the past five years. The guy's 28 years old. He's on an expiring contract. Probably their second best player. Maybe they're, you know, he's one of their three best players. He's been one of their best players over the last five years. He's going to be a good player for the next five years. And we're not even going to make an attempt to sign this guy. We're just going to dump him. That, you know, if I'm a, a guy left on that Nationals team, I'm kind of like, what are we doing here? You know, we got our championship and that's it. You know, we're, we're just going to be bad for the next 10 years. We're not even going to try. <laughs> so I would think there's a lot of sad people in that Nationals clubhouse. So we'll take a shot here at the Braves. Uh, and then we're going to come back with the Cardinals. Like I said, the Cardinals own Kauffman Stadium. That stadium's going to be 50-50 Royals, Cardinals fans tonight. Um, the price is right. We're, uh, I know John Lester is, uh, not done anything a whole lot here. He's, a uh, um, ancient, not very good pitcher anymore. But then again, look who the Royals are throwing against this bad Brad, bad Brad Keller, one of the worst pitchers in the league. So I would expect the Cardinals are going to hit some home runs tonight. Um, Cardinals are they're in this. They are definitely in this. Uh, they're getting they got Flaherty back. Another team here comes the Cavalry. So um, I feel pretty good about both of these picks. Uh, we feel okay here, but I couldn't see any others. So it's just the two. Hey, we're on a roll. So let's not you know get crazy and uh, start. Um, marginalizing the games we're playing. The next thing you know, we're on a losing stretch. So, good, great. What else is going on? I don't know. I, you know, I'm just thinking I might drive over to get a new casino here in PA up at uh, York. Um, might go over and see what that's about, uh, just out of curiosity's sake. Uh, Penn National often has good buffets. Uh, I, I don't know if we still do that in this country, or they're all closed. Uh, that used to be something I enjoyed, was uh, casino buffets. Uh, I guess I shouldn't be talking like this because, I'm, you know, I want to lose weight. Uh, but then I wanted to eat at the buffet, too. You see the problem? Okay. Good, great. Hey, thanks for being here. Hit the like button. I, I I notice we're getting some new subscribers, but again, we're back to that old issue of, I don't know who you are if you got your settings in such a way where it's hidden from, you know, so then I can't say hi to you. But hey, thanks. 
thanks for showing up. Thanks for uh, uh, being here. It, it, I keep saying that we're we had uh, hit a plateau there of subscribers where we had this initial flood of political people, and I don't you know I can't help myself. I throw the occasional political rant in there, uh, but then now we're I think exchanging out the political people for sports people, and we're heading into football season, so. I think the subscriber number is going to start to really take off here. So that's great. That's great. Uh, and maybe even the viewership, too, as we'll hit into football. <laughs> Man has 10,000 subscribers and he gets 30 views a day. <laughs> All right, good. Great. Thanks, and we'll talk to you probably Monday. I don't think there'll be a video tomorrow. Unless, you know, I have time and uh, um, nothing else to do, which does happen. So, hey, great. Thanks. See you later.